Hello, my name is Emma. At some point in everybody's life, you may be involved in an incident where you need the help from the emergency services. If you are involved in this incident and you need help, how do you go about getting this? Hello, my name is Warren and I work for the Ambulance Service. You may speak to me or somebody like me when you phone for an emergency ambulance. If you phone from a landline, we should be able to locate you quickly. If you're using a mobile phone, we may have to ask more questions to locate you. The important thing is to stay calm and give details as clearly as possible. Let's look at a couple of situations to see how they differ. Please. Ambulance emergency, what's the address of the emergency, please? Um, I don't know. In an emergency, you would call the number 999. It is important that you stay calm. People do panic, and this is normal. We would need you to tell us where you are and the number you are calling from. The sooner we know where you are, the sooner we can get help to you. It's also important to speak slowly and listen to the operator. Now let's look at this example again, but with the caller following this advice. Ow! Emergency service, do you Ambulance, need? Ambulance, emergency, what's the address of the emergency, please? Put the post station right in Worthy. Thank you. Help's being arranged. You're not delaying it whilst you're speaking to me. Tell me exactly what's happened to you. I've been cut in my hand with a sharp knife. I'm bleeding. I'm going to tell you how to stop the bleeding. Listen carefully to me. If you get a clean, dry cloth or towel and place it right on the wound, Press down firmly and don't lift it up to look. Right. Hold, hold the yep. OK, don't worry. Sit down and keep calm. Help is on its way. As soon as you've given us enough information for us to find you, an ambulance is dispatched. This means an ambulance is heading towards you as quickly as possible. Any information you can give us regarding the accident or injury you may have suffered will be passed to the ambulance in order for them to help you. Hello, my name is Caroline. I work for the ambulance service. My job is to attend the calls that I receive from an operator. When you make a call, the operator will direct me straight to you. I will get to you as quickly and as safely as possible. Hello, ambulance. What's that, mate? Oh, it's dear. madness here. Oh, dear. Let's turn you around, take you back inside a minute. In you go, Jeff. Okay, How do you feel? I feel sick. Have a sit down there, look. That's it. Keep your hands up as much as you can. How did you do that? I beat my shot up with a sharp knife. You cut it with a knife? Yeah. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look of it, okay? I'll pop some gloves on. Yep. You feel a bit sick, do you? It's a bit dizzy. Right, okay. Are you okay sat there? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is just clean that up a little bit, okay? Yeah. But that's quite deep, so you, you yeah. probably need some stitches in there. Yeah. Okay. In some cases, you may not have to go to hospital. You may be able to be treated at the scene, like this situation where the patient has a badly cut hand. The paramedic that attends to you would be specially trained to deal with situations like these. 
The paramedic would deal with the wound, reassure and stay with you until you felt calm and comfortable. They would also make sure that you could get support if needed. They might ask if there is anyone that you would like to have contacted and ask if they can check on you later. Someone like a carer or family member. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just keep that nice and clean. Yeah, yeah. nice and dry. Yeah. And then uh, we'll get somebody to look at it in a couple of days' time. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes in these situations, a paramedic like me will leave paperwork about the treatment that you have received. This information is for your benefit and for anyone else that cares for you. If follow-up treatment is needed, paperwork can be given to your doctor to help him understand what happened and what treatment you received. You're right, Jeff. I've just seen the ambulance outside. What's happened? I've been washed up. I've been cut myself. You cut yourself? Yeah. Oh, did you find the ambulance by yourself? Yes, I did. And what did they say for you to do? Keep clean and dry. And dry? Clean and dry? Yeah. Oh, well done. You dealt with that really well, Jeff. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Not all accidents happen at home. You may be out in the community with friends or a carer. They may be taken ill or have an accident. If you are the only person around, it may be up to you to call for help. Oh, yeah. That was a good guy, yeah. Oh, yeah, I died. No, I've got a bit of a pain in my chest. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. God. If there's nobody around, you may have to call for help yourself. If you have your own mobile, that's fine. If not, you may have to use your carer's. Ask if he has one. Maybe a passerby may have a mobile phone. Oh. Oh, God. I, I just can only get a phone, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's in there. Jeez. Which emergency service do you need? Oh, I'm, I'm in this place. Ambulance emergency. What's the address of the emergency, please? Um, is he in Worthing? OK, don't worry and stay calm. Can you look around and tell me what you can see? Well, I'll see the power I'm outside the farmhouse. OK, well done. And what's your name, please? Fred. Well done, Fred. Now tell me exactly what's happened. Me and Charlie were walking. He's grabbed his hands to his chest. I just put that on the floor. Are you with him now? Yes, I am, yes. How old is he? Well, he's about four to five. And is he awake? Yes, he is awake. But he's a bit grey. I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Oh, OK. So if you tell me when the ambulance staff get to you or if anything changes. I will. While the ambulance is on the way, we may ask you to help and do some tasks. Don't be frightened by this. Listen carefully to what we say and remember to stay calm. It is important for you to tell us where you are, for example, the road or the town you are in. If you are unsure of where you are, look for someone around you or something that you are near, for example, a road name or a named building or a building such as a church. This will help the operator locate where you are. Remember, the operator cannot see where you are, so will need as much information as possible. This information will be sent straight to the ambulance, so remember, stay calm. Well, I can see how I'm mean, it's now, actually. And it's blue lights. Thank you. Bye. OK, Charlie. Help us in this way. I'll be with you in a second. Hi mate, my name's Sean, what's yours? Hello. What's your name mate? I'm Fred. Fred, what's happened? Um, I've got a chest pain. Yep. Yeah. I've just fall down. Okay Fred, if you can just support Charlie there. I'm going to give him some oxygen to help him breathe in. Okay. Alright Charlie, this should help you. You okay there Fred? Yes, you I can do. just keep him as he is. Don't move him, that's perfect. 
Is he good? Will he be okay though? He's gonna be fine, but I need to get him to the hospital to get him checked over. Oh, okay. I need to put some little pads on his chest. Is that oxygen helping at all? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, Charlie? Yeah. Good? Okay, good. I'll have a listen to your chest. Okay, okay just take a breath normally for me. Cool. That's good. Okay, Charlie. I'm ready to come in. Okay, Fred. What we're going to do now is put Charlie on for the back of the ambulance and okay. we're going to put some more wires on his chest so we can see what's going on. Right? Okay. Okay, Alright. You okay, Sean? Yeah, fine, guys. Um, this is Charlie who's helped um, walking with Fred this morning, experienced shortness of breath and chest pain. Um, I've got, I'm just monitoring him at the moment. We need to get him onto the back of the ambulance in the warm so we can do a full 12 week, please. No problem. Hi, my name's Sean, I work for the ambulance service. Chest pains are taken very seriously. With chest pain, it is usual for us to take the patient to a hospital where the right care will be given. The caller does not have to come along, but if the patient is a family member, friend or carer, then they can if they wish. Fred, if you want to start walking around, mind this. Okay. These are just a couple of examples. There are many situations where you may be a witness, you may be involved, or you may need help. Remember to stay calm and dial 999.